Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome to a long overdue video. <laughs> How have you guys been? It has been nuts where I am. <laughs> the heat is hot, the scorpions are out, and I'm driving all over the place for work. What have I been up to with Linux lately? Well, not much, unfortunately. I really haven't had much time to get into some things. But I wanted to share an experience that I had this weekend. You might title this video, Patience Has a Virtue. It has a reason. This weekend I went to do an update with the Portage Tree and install and it was actually on Friday the 24th that I did this. Everything kind of looked good except it blew up when it tried to update the Chrome binary plugins for Chromium. And the problem was that on the 24th of June this year Google updated their Chromium plugins from, and I'll bring it up real quick, from version 5102704103 to 106. Now, you think this shouldn't be too much of a problem, but, and I wish I had a screenshot, on Friday the 24th, this was still saying that the Chrome binary plugin was 5102704-103. Now normally it's not a big deal. You just go to somewhere like here um, and go into Chrome Pool, Main G, Google Chrome Stable, and you can find the Google plugin. However, nowhere, anywhere did I search that I could find the version 103. It was like almost everybody in the world had done this great, awesome job of going, oh, new version, boom, out with the old, in with the new. There's no archive anywhere for you. I searched and searched and looked and looked, and maybe there's a repository that's not being listed somewhere, or maybe Google blocks anything like that. I don't know. But I will tell you this, I was pulling out my hair, and that's hard because i got to get tweezers and go, because i got to get it to work. Uh, finally, I just, just yeah, I got, I, that's enough, i got to go to bed. So the next day, Saturday, I get up, and I come down here, and I check the rest of the packages. And what I did was, because I knew that it was going to cause chromium to blow up, I knew it was, gonna, it was already blowing up on this. I went ahead and I masked those packages so that it wouldn't see them for right then. I didn't know how long I might have to do that. But the very next day, less than 12 hours later, I go back to Gen 2's package and I look to see what it says. Because I looked everywhere on Friday to see if other people were having this problem. How long was it having? Have, were they having this problem? And I had noticed, oh my goodness, this just happened on the 24th. Had I only updated Portage and everything on the 23rd, I probably wouldn't have run into this. Or if I had just waited 12 hours, I would have been cool. So cool. But if we look at this again, you know, of course this is 106. And now, in the Gen 2 packages, it now says 106. And they had updated it within, like I said, 12 hours. The very next day, it was in line with the new version. You talk about people at Gen 2 being on the ball. It was awesome to see how quickly. Now you say, why, Dos Gregor, are you using Chrome binary plugins? Well, I like to be able to watch... Netflix and Hulu and other things and I really enjoy that being able to do it in a Linux environment without having to install some sort of a Windows version of Firefox and all those other ways that we used to have to do that and now of course with uh, the advent of the Chrome binary plugins 
it allows me to be able to watch Netflix and Hulu right through Chromium and it's great and I'm not a purist yeah I like Gen 2 I like installing things from source code but I do believe that if there is a company that is willing to write a closed source driver or a binary that will allow me to make Gen 2 or Linux better I'm all for it I'm okay with that my system doesn't have to be a pure Linux system now as long as I'm not breaking any licensing I don't have a problem with that I know it opens the door to a lot of things and there's a lot of people who believe one way or another but sometimes you just get frustrated you just want it to work you want it to be good and oh, I tell you when it doesn't <laughs> anyway not much else is going on that was the big fun I had over my weekend and I thought you know I, I, I ought to do a video at least share my experience and, and and remind people that when you do portage updates when you do an emerge update and all that if there are problems right away just stop give it 12 24 hours try again with another update of the portage tree and then check it again or like I, I did I, I went to Gen 2's package manager and just to see if they'd updated those packages yet and they were like I said very quick to make sure that that was up I mean that happened on the 24th by the 25th it was all good you know if I would just been a little bit slower <laughs> bad timing uh, so far as you can see I am still running plasma 5 now I did not upgrade KDE 4 I actually rebuilt everything from scratch started all over on a different partition on my laptop and I did that long before Gen 2 actually made everything stable and said this is the way we're going we're no longer supporting KDE 4 I don't know if I got a better build that way but I just wanted to get my feet wet and in the beginning before I realized how close I was to the end because I didn't want another surprise like I did between KDE 3 to KDE 4 now I remember way back when 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 Gen 2 did that and I did an update and wasn't paying attention that suddenly all my KDE 3 packages were being updated to KDE 4 and it just blew up so much and it hurt so much and all oh, it was so painful because in my opinion KDE 4 was not ready but then again I think I dragged my feet on a lot of these things now, Plasma 5 has been pretty good if you ask my opinion I've been happy with it so far things have worked well I've still had a few crashes here and there I've still had some incompatibilities I still don't like this for instance down here yeah, you'll notice that I've got 12 hour time instead of 24 hour time. I grew up in Germany. That's, you know, the, and hence Das Gregor, you know, and because of that, I prefer, and I also am an army brat. So I'm used to military time. I'm used to a 24 hour clock. Now, I don't like the fact that if I set that clock so that it's 24 hour time, it screws up everything else because it's all built into the environmentals so if I change that to 24 hours then suddenly the first day of the week is a Monday instead of Sunday and that really throws me I mean honestly for those of you who have on your calendar the day of the week starting on a Monday it makes a lot more sense to be perfectly honest if you think about that your work week starts Monday and you always look at the weekend which always includes Saturday and Sunday so you would think the week should end on Sunday yeah and that makes sense to me but after 40 plus years of looking at a calendar and always knowing that first column is supposed to be Sunday it throws me for a loop when suddenly I look at something and I just look at the third oh it's the third column okay that's Tuesday and all of a sudden I realize, no not with that calendar that's not so I really wish that they would I call it laziness you know they call it environmental they call it being 
grouped into a locale. I call it programming laziness because it used to work beautiful. There was no problem in KDE 4 with it. Why did they have to break that? But if that's all I have to complain about, eh, it's not so bad. Anyway, I don't want to make this too long. I just thought it's way too late. People are saying, Das Krieger, are you dead? It's like, no, I'm not dead. I'm just lazy and overworked and got too much going on. <laughs> so, if it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.